morning, everyone. It's always a rough start to the videos, but we get there eventually. If you watched my last video, you would have seen that Troy and I were lucky enough to be taken around the Glossier store in New York. Basically, they took us around their offices, which I wasn't able to film, obviously, because it's their offices and it's where they're coming up with new products and new designs and everything. Then they took us to the flagship, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have been to if you haven't and you're in New York, I highly recommend going. It was the craziest store. I'll put in some of the footage that I filmed when I was there. Yeah, it was so crazy, this store. It was incredible to see. Everyone working there was so excited. You could tell they were so in love with Glossier and with the brand. And they genuinely wanted to help every single customer get the right products that they need. Tori and I were in total shock. We were able to pick out a lot of product and it was incredibly kind and generous of them. So I wanna show you all the products that I got. And I thought, what better way to do that than by showing you how I genuinely use the product in everyday life. So I guess this is my like everyday skincare routine. And the best part about this routine, I keep going on about this, but I feel like if you have a really good skincare routine, then you don't need makeup because the skincare does it all for you. So I'm gonna show you my like pretty much everyday look and I end up using three makeup products and the rest is all skincare. Let's get into it. So as you can see, I already washed my face. I showed you two products. The first one was this one. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Cleanser. I got this in New York before I went into the Glossier store because I'd run out of my cleanser. This is for a mix of dry to oily skin if you're like somewhere in between, which I'm pretty sure is me. I don't actually know for a fact, but I think that's me. This is perfect. I love it. When I use it, I feel like my face is really clean after. So I actually use this at night. This is part of my nighttime routine and I highly recommend it. It feels really good and I feel like my face feels really clean after so that's what I use at night time then for my skincare routine in the morning I have been using the Glossier milk jelly cleanser apparently this is one of their most sold products and I understand why it's super lightweight it's jelly like which is super cool I feel like I wouldn't use this to get off my makeup and that's why I haven't been using it at night so I have just been using it in the morning because I find my face is pretty clean from the night before once I wake up so this is just I guess a lightweight cleanser that gets my face fresh and clean for the day ahead. The next product that I use is the Glossier Invisible Shield. This is daily sunscreen. We all know that it's important to wear sunscreen, so I just put this on first, get it out the way. This is specifically for your face, which I like because when I use body sunscreen, it really affects my eyes and my eyes get all watery and red. So I love that this is specifically for your face. So what I do, I just take like two, to three pumps and put it on. Sun cream done. Next, I go in with moisturizer. I got the travel size product at the Glossier store. This is the priming moisturizer. I love this. When I get a moisturizer, I like it to be really thick. I want my face to feel really moisture throughout the day. So that's why I love this one. I don't like lightweight moisturizers. So this one's really great. It's really thick and I'm upset I only got the travel size because it's already nearly run out. Like that's, that looks like a lot, but it's on my pinky. So it looks bigger than it actually is, but I also do like a lot of it. So I just take it and rub it in. When my hair is dirty and needs to be washed, I always add the skincare to my hair and like add this like gelled, greasy look. Okay, once moisturizer is done, then I go in with rosehip oil. Troy recommended it to me. He's been using it for ages and I now am already nearly finished this. So 
that's how much I love Rosie Poil. I think it's been not even a month since I've had this and it's nearly finished. So I take about three drops, one, two, three, sometimes a little more. Hey, hey. As you can see, rosehip oil just makes your face look super glowy. That's rosehip oil done. Okay, next, I feel like I say this in every video, glowy. I like say it a gazillion and one times, but I feel like who doesn't want to look glowy? You know what I mean? The next product, I'm so excited that I picked this up. This is called the Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. I think it's a relatively new product from Glossier and what they explained to me is that you use this in between skincare and makeup. Basically, I think it's just some form of serum that adds that extra glow to your skin. Look how pretty the color is when it comes out. It's like a, sorry, I'm really shaky. It runs in my family. We all shake. But yeah, it's like a holographic -y pinky color, which is just so nice. And I just rub it in mainly on the high points of my face. And that's what it looks like when it's done. The last skincare product that I use and that I picked up is this soothing face mist. It is rose water spray. Do you know what I really like about this? Have you ever used some form of like misting spray or setting spray and it comes out like really, really intensely on your face? I like get the biggest fright and it just like, I don't know, I, I just can't handle it. This, it's like, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but when you spray it, it's so even and it's so light, it hits your face lightly that you don't even like flinch when it hits you. Whew. Wow, that was the last product that I use for my morning skincare routine. And then I guess I'll just show you the few makeup products that I use because honestly guys, like you don't need to now add a whole bunch of makeup because like the skincare has added that glow, you know? You know? Yeah, you know. So if you watched my first ever video, this is a product that I picked up with the rosehip oil. It is the Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops. Basically, it's not a skin tint and it's not a foundation. You just add like one to two pumps and apply it and it just gives you a bronzed look. So you really don't need much at all. I learned that from last time. <gasps> <laughs> and then you just really have to make sure that you rub it in properly. How do I produce that sound? See, it just adds a bit of color back into your face. And then honestly, the last two products that I use and then I'm like set for the day is an eyebrow gel and my mascara. So this is the boy brow. I love it. This is just super easy to apply. I have to fill in my eyebrows, well I don't have to, but they just are quite sparse and light. So I love this because it's super easy and it takes me literally five seconds. I'll be back. I'm gonna go do this in a mirror. I can't use my phone. Eyebrows done. <laughs> And then once my eyebrows are done, I usually put on mascara. Oh, I just got this mascara. <laughs> it is the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. And it's so good. Most mascaras do the job. But what I look for in a mascara is one where I don't have to sit there for five minutes and apply it to my one eye. I can't open it, guys. <laughs> I just like to do a few strokes and want it to be and this mascara does that, so I'll show you. I also say that and then either way, spend five minutes putting on mascara <laughs> because it's addictive. Okay, that's mascara done. The last two products I wanted to show you that I picked up from Glossier. Numero uno, their perfume. I didn't know that they did perfume. What they explained to us is that the scent actually attaches to your natural producing body odor. So you know how everyone like kind of produces their own scent. This combined with that actually kind of gives everyone a bit of a different scent, I guess. I don't know how true that is, but 
you know, why not believe it? It smells so good either way, so I've really been enjoying it. Troy also got it and we smell the same. So that's cute, but yeah, I've been loving it. And then the last product that I picked up is this Body Hero body moisturizer. It also smells amazing. Um, I'm gonna put some on my dry ass legs. Do you guys have like a tension with shaving your legs? Because, you know, women are told that they need to shave their legs and have no body hair and I kind of want to rebel against that. But also, I shaved my legs for the first time in a long time yesterday and it feels so smooth. <laughs> so I'm always in like a predicament because I'm like to not shave and you know, live those feminist values or to shave and have really soft, smooth skin. This is the final look. This is my everyday morning skincare routine and just everyday look, I guess. Yeah, tell me what you guys think about using majority skincare products with a tiny bit of makeup. Do you like that? Do you not like that? If you enjoyed this video, please let me know because if you don't enjoy it, then I won't make them. Actually, no, I enjoy making them, so I'm gonna make them either way. Make sure you subscribe because my next video is going to be moving to LA and getting productive with Peach Pack. Alyssa and I have been working so hard on Peach Pack and we're so excited for you guys to be receiving your upcoming packs. They are so exciting and so cute and I just can't wait for you guys to get your hands on them. Also, let me know if there's any specific type of Peach Pack style videos that you want to see on this channel. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.